Hi guys, welcome to CA Final SEMPE Self Paced Paper. We are doing the MCQs for Strategic Performance Management. Aim of doing these MCQs is only one to discuss with you the finer aspects of MCQs. So whether these are the independent MCQs or they are case study based, I am doing each and every MCQ from the module for the purpose that you get a proper explanation which is correct. And if any twisted versions of such MCQs come, you are in a rightful mind to be answering them. Okay, for, uh, I've told this thing in past also, but I'll be saying those things again. This paper is something that kids are going to be ignoring a lot because we all think that there are no marks for it. That's absolutely correct that there are no marks. But ensure that please you all uh, clear it. The best way to clear it is... Obviously not to be purchasing my course, okay, but to be opening up the modules and start to study. Make it a habit to read around 10 pages. It is pure business language, which is super simple. So ensure that you read the modules, finish off your job. In case you will want any help, then in case you all think that the course is required, then the description is there in case you want to be taking. That is obviously your call. So let's start it off. Uh, just one thing on our telegram ID at the rate AJ next, you will get all the help that you might need in relation to the studies or any other thing. Okay. So let's start it off. Now Pareto analysis shall be performed. Okay. The four options are now, before I read these four options, I will just do one small thing. We'll have a small recap again of Pareto analysis. Wilfredo Pareto. The gentleman who made this entire theory of Pareto analysis, he told 80% of the output from any given situation or system is driven by 20% of the input. So therefore, these 20% constitute around 80% of the value. It matters a lot. I've given a lot of examples in the previous ones. I'll give uh, something different now. In your entire company, if you're going to be a startup, if you have your dad's business, you're going to be continuing that. If you're going to be starting your own business, okay, or if you're going to be working, you will start to realize. And even in, say, the big fours, okay, like uh, you go to, say, KPMG up and so on, one thing you'll notice, 80% of all the work in any company is actually done only by 20% of the employees. These 20% of the employees are very really valuable for the company because if any one of them will be leaving, it will cause the company huge. That is one of the things like, you know, where you can be applying Pareto analysis, 80-20 rule that we all call. We all have done many applications. 80% of all the value of the stocks is because of 20% reasons. 80% of the profits are given by 20% customers. 80% of all the defects in any products will be because of 20% reasons. 80% of all the revenues or profits are given by only 20% of the products. These things are super important. One more thing, 80% of all your cause because of, will be because of 20% of the activities. These are five to six areas where Pareto told that it can be applicable to business. So based upon this only, we all have the question. So the question that I had started to read, but then I stopped, Pareto analysis shall be performed. Four options, periodically, B, continuously, C, occasionally, D, quarterly. See, first of all, no, it only depends upon the company, okay, when they want to be doing the Pareto analysis. I am just trying to be thinking out of the four, which one makes maximum sense? You try to think, comment, no, please. Which one makes maximum sense? Think. Okay, see, continuously it cannot be done. To give you a small example, suppose you had 20 types of products. Okay, you did one small thing. How much sales each and every product does? You calculated that and sorted that in the descending order. So therefore, automatically the products which have highest sales will be coming on top, right? Now, this will tell you which products are important, which products are not important. Wherever the sales is highest, those products are maximum important, right? Now, when do you do this particular thing, to be honest? Now, you cannot be doing such things on a continuing basis, okay? It is maddening, okay? Every day, your rankings will not be changing, no? So, it is useless. It is useless. Occasionally, if you do, you will miss out on many things, okay? Suppose once in three years, I try to be doing this. It is wrong because in three years, many things could have changed here. Now, quarterly is a bogus answer, 
ओके इनफैक्ट डी ऑटोमेटिकली गेट्स इंक्लूडेड इन पीरियोडिकली टू बी ऑनेस्ट ओके एंड क्वार्टरली समबडी कैन बी सेइंग सर व्हाई क्वार्टरली वी कैन बी टेकिंग द वीकली आल्सो सो देयरफॉर बेस्ट आंसर इन दिस सिचुएशन विल बी पीरियोडिकली सी दैट कंपनी कैन ट्राई टू बी फिक्सिंग दैट आफ्टर एवरी सिक्स मंथ्स वी विल ट्राई टू डू द पैरेटो एनालिसिस विल ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट व्हिच प्रोडक्ट्स आर मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट सो देयरफॉर टॉप मैनेजमेंट कैन ओनली फोकस ऑन दोस प्रोडक्ट्स व्हिच आर मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एंड कंपनी शुड नॉट ट्राई टू फोकस एट लीस्ट द टॉप मैनेजमेंट शुड नॉट फोकस ऑन दोस प्रोडक्ट्स व्हिच आर नॉट सो आउट ऑफ द फोर आई थिंक मोस्ट एप्ट आंसर इन दिस केस शुड बी पीरियोडिकली ओके एंड दैट पीरियड कैन बी फिक्स्ड बाय द कंपनी इट कैन बी ईयरली इट कैन बी से क्वार्टरली आल्सो इट कैन बी सिक्स मंथली आल्सो दैट डिपेंड okay but i guess a should be the most apt answer please circle that yeah that's the correct answer thank you so much i'll see you all next time with another question bye